Thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about some brand new Charlotte Tilbury products, as well as some products that are new to me. So if you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I recently picked up several things, so I thought we would just kind of try them all together. I've got the Push Up Lashes, the new mascara by Charlotte Tilbury, and I know this one's got kind of mixed reviews, so I'm going to show you my experience. I have worn this for about a week now, so I'm getting some pretty solid ideas about it. And then I also finally picked up the other bronzer in tan, so now I have tan versus medium. I've talked about medium a couple times already and I was waiting for the refills. So we'll have those side by side and get a really nice comparison. This is not new, but new to me, the Feline Flick. I wanted a brown liquid liner, so I thought I would try this one out. And I also picked up the setting spray, which is, oh, it's right here, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So we've got mascara, Oh yes, and also, how can I forget? I picked up a neutral palette. I picked up the Sophisticate. So again, I've been looking for neutrals, mattes. So we've got so many shimmery colors and lots of color that I've been looking for things to anchor those colors. So we're gonna try everything on and talk about my thoughts at the end. I do have on foundation by Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in 7W. And then I've got the Radiance Elixir that I mixed it with by Chantikai. So I like that it kind of lightened up in terms of the weight of the foundation, as well as gives a little bit of a glow. Then I went in with my Clay de Peau Concealer in Honey on my darker areas. I didn't really have to color correct um, in terms of the color corrector, sometimes I'll use that. Honey works really well with the foundation. I set with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder 1. So that works really well together. I've got eyebrows on, of course. I've got a little bit of eye primer, eyeshadow primer, eye primer. <laughs> and then I think that's it. Oh no, of course. We've got some blush by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and then I also have on Sizzly Under Eye Concealer. Oh, and Chantikai's Hummingbird Powder right in the center, as well as a little bit of Hourglass Dim Light. <laughs> let's go in with the eyeshadow. I've got the Sophisticate palette here. So I'm going to take, let's see. I'm gonna take this color here. Let's use this Bristles brush. It's the E02RL. Then this color. I've got a Wayne Goss brush in 16 Wayne Goss. Got the number 17 brush, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, this grayish color. Got the number 19 brush, and we're going in right here with this color. Probably blend a little bit more here. I'm gonna go in with the Feline Flick here in number, not number, in that Super Brown. May need to blend a little bit more, but I did put on the winged liner. I also used Barbarella Brown in the tight line area and then Brown Agape by Chanel in the waterline. So we're gonna go in with the mascara. My stomach is so loud. Okay, I'm going in with the mascara now and we're going to use this side, the flat side. So you do have, let me show a close up. Okay, so you have this side that shows the bristles, but then you turn it. We're gonna go in facing this way first. So I'm gonna use that to push up the lashes. Now, I usually curl my lashes, but today I'm going to show you how this helps push them up so I don't have to curl them, so it's good for when I don't feel like curling my lashes. So I'm just pushing up against. Oh, oh, my microphone. Okay, back to the lashes. Hopefully everything's working. So we're going to just push up like this. It does a nice job of getting the product on the lashes. And this is a travel size, and I just wanted to test it out first. So I ordered the smaller size first. I actually wish more companies would do this so that if you wanted to try it, you could just get a smaller size without wasting first. Okay, so there's the first coat. So now I'm going through. Let's try it out a little bit since I got it. I've had it for about a week and I've worn it every day. Yeah, this may have dried a little bit because of that microphone mishap when I put it on here. I like to run this through a little bit earlier um, instead of letting it sit for a second. Okay, so there is 
just one coat. Well, one with the flat side and one with the bristle side. So I think it does a really nice job. Okay, so now we have both eyes done. I'll go ahead with the bottom lashes. And this actually is pretty good for bottom lashes. I just have it on the bristle side out. So there's the mascara on. I went in again with just the flat side and then the bristle side. So it's less than I would normally apply. Usually I will go in with three coats. No primer again with that either. I love the way it turns out, but I am going to do a 12 hour wear test. So look for that in a vlog in the future because sometimes beautiful results don't last. So I'm curious to see how long this lasts. I think it did a really nice job of lifting my lashes without having to curl them first and then volume and length as well. And I like that brown liquid liner. It's definition, but not so dramatic. It's a little more subtle. Uh, so yeah, I really like the liquid liner too. I don't know if I love the felt tip. I prefer calligraphy, but I like the idea of a brown liquid liner. Let's go ahead and compare our bronzers now. I have medium and I've had it for a while now, but I always wanted to try tan. So I do have that here as well. And I think my air conditioning is going to start. Let me just turn it off. <laughs> so we're going to do half and half. Medium we'll do on this side and then tan we will put on this side. So you can see already their undertones look a little bit different. Yeah, so we'll see because I feel like when I've done the medium on um, my face, it looked a little reddish. So hopefully this new lighting will show its true color. So now we'll finally get to compare it. Medium will go in on this side. So this is medium. It's very subtle, but it's definitely a difference between no bronzer and bronzer. And I'll look ahead so you can kind of see what it looks like straight on. So I think it creates a really nice subtle effect. So we've got medium here versus no bronzer. Because I feel like it looks like almost no bronzer, but when you compare it, you can definitely see there's bronzer. I really like this brush too, the Airbrush Charlotte Tilbury. It's very nice for these. So I'm going to take now tan on this side. So we'll see the difference. Yeah, this is a really good illustration of how this looks side by side. So I'm seeing a lot more red tone on me. And I think you can see that as well. Especially on my forehead, I feel like you can really see that reddish tone coming through. Okay, so here is tan. <clears throat> versus medium. So I think that this provides the depth that I like in a bronzer, um, but it also pulls a little bit red for me. So it depends on what you like. So let me just go back a little. You can see here the tan versus the medium. Again, I think it really is your, whatever your preference is. I'm going to try and even them up now, so just take one last look. I'm gonna take a little bit of the tan and put it on this side. And then I'm gonna take some of the medium and put it on the other side to kind of bring it down a little bit. So I hope that was a good illustration for you to help you figure out what you would like in terms of the bronzer. Yeah, I've just been really curious. Definitely changes the overall look though. I mean, I look like bronzed, of course. So let's take a little bit more of the, do I have it? Hmm. Of course I have it. A little bit of my hummingbird powder and blend everything in. Okay, what I'm going to do now, okay, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> I've got a sample of red carpet red, so I just wanted to, let's try it. And let's do the last step here. I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It has a nice like 
botanical fragrance about it. Let's quickly recap, starting with this mascara. I really like it. Like I said, I've used it for about a week now, and the results are consistent in terms of getting that lift, the volume, and the length. So my experience has been quite good with this. So I'm mostly really interested now to see the wear on it. So a 12 hour wear test is what I have in mind. I will be doing that in a vlog. So we are also going to try this, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray in a 12 hour test. I will also use a face covering to see how this affects the makeup underneath that. So looking forward to that. And I think it did a really nice job of kind of melding everything together. And I think the really the point of a setting spray is for me at least, not only just to meld everything together, but to keep it in place. So I think that's a really important thing to test with a setting spray. And let's see the claims. It says, I'm not quite sure here. Oh, 16 hours. Okay, I don't know if I'll go 16 hours, but I will definitely test it for 12. That's the goal. Talking about the bronzers here, I am a little bit surprised that I still like the medium better than the tan on me. But again, it's a personal preference what you like for a bronzer. This gives me kind of the, more of the tone that I like, but this gives me the depth. So I would probably end up mixing them. <laughs> yeah, I would go in, not even in a 50-50 ratio, it would be more like two thirds, one third. <laughs> I know trying to get that ratio would be near impossible, but I'd take a little bit more of this and a little bit less of that. So I think that's how I would use these since I have both. Now, if I didn't have both, I think I would pick this one though. So I think it has more to do with though the undertone issue than anything else. Yeah, I would still like to see something more golden from them. And then the Sophisticate palette I think is beautiful. It's a really great neutral one, especially if you're gonna do a red lip like this. I, I really like it. And then the Feline Flick is nice. I would like a brown that doesn't have as much warmth though. I would like a cooler brown and a little bit more rich. So maybe like the color Espresso in the um, Charlotte Tilt, not Charlotte Tilt, maybe the Chanel, the Chanel eyeliner, or more like, let me look at this. I think the Barbarella Brown is a really pretty brown as well. So I wish they had something a little bit more along those lines. Yeah, but it's nice to have a casual liquid liner, if that's a thing. So if you can think of one that's like a cooler, more rich brown liquid liner with a calligraphy pen type applicator, that would be perfect. So let me know because I know you are a wealth of knowledge. I would love to pick one up. But that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care of each other, stay well. And if you did enjoy it, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.